This morning, the city of Cape Coral has a better idea how many people walk every day on Skyline Boulevard in an area where there are no sidewalks. The city just wrapped up a study using traffic cameras to find out whether or not it should be building sidewalks in this area. Supporters say it's all about safety, but opponents are telling us it's not necessary. Fox Source John Barron is live at that part of Skyline right now. And John, you say you've already seen people walking there this morning. Yeah, Chris, more and more as the light is starting to make its way over the horizon. And really, honestly, this is just one of those stops right here, too, right here at the uh, cross section between Southwest 54th Lane and Skyline Boulevard, where we even have some school buses picking up kids on their way into school. And we've been seeing that as long as uh, a lot of people starting to kind of like wake up and start to take their morning walks. And that's really what we're taking a look at. I want you to take a look right here of what we're seeing right here on the boulevard. You can kind of see that they had this bike lane right here and that's about it so you got about three feet of bike lane and that's really about it it looks honestly just as you know a part of it really of the road and that's all they have at this point in time for a lot of community members they're saying it's just a safety concern and they want a little bit more protection so i'll tell you exactly how far this is going to be going it's going to be going between uh, the skyline boulevard and it's going to be between cape coral parkway and it will go all the way continuing through south el dorado so the city put up a camera on this street and took about uh, took it down yesterday to track how many people were actually riding their bikes on or walking here, really. So the sidewalk would be able to be about five feet wide, and the $633,000 project would potentially move mailboxes and palm trees as well. And residents we spoke with yesterday say they see the need, but they also think that it's already enough space for people to walk. Provides pedestrian safety by having a dedicated facility outside of the bike lane to walk on. There's, there's a, a wide bike lane on both sides, so there's plenty of places for people to walk. Tom Hayden would go on to say that he sees it from both sides, but he doesn't want residents walking on the roads. City numbers now show that as of February 15th, only 10% of Cape Coral roads have a sidewalk on at least one side of the road, and future projects during the next five years only increase that number to about 12%. Now, we have that link to the survey, actually, from the city on our website at foxfornow.com. And as you can see, actually, right now, we even still have some residents walking their dogs this morning. So you can kind of see that it is a little bit of a safety concern with a lot of people, but they say that with these bike lanes, some community members say there's already enough protection. So we're going to send it back to you in the studio for now here live on Cape Coral. John Barron, Fox 4.